What is up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you an app that will save you a ton of time, whether you are a designer, a developer, video producer, basically, if you use a Mac, this app is gonna help you. So let's go ahead and check it out. So this app is called Quick Key, and right now as I make this video, it is currently on sale for only 99 cents, so it's usually about $10 I think, so it's 90% off. Definitely wanna encourage you to check it out, links down below. So basically what it does is store various chunks of text for you that you can activate with a custom shortcut. So to open it up, what you can do is use a custom shortcut, and it'll just open up that window, or you can open it from the menu bar. And I'm gonna go into the snippets to show you some things that I've added. So let's say that you're a developer and you work a lot with HTML, you could paste in a whole header template. So anytime that you're creating a new HTML file, you can just paste in all of this code and you don't have to remember what you're missing or what the template looks like. So to give you an example, I've just opened up a text editor for you and I'm gonna open up Quick Key with my shortcut and I'm just gonna type in HTML dash temp and you'll see that it pastes in all that text for you. Now one cool thing here is that while it is already pasted into my document, it's also copied to my clipboard. So if I didn't wanna paste it into that specific app, I could go into a web browser or any other app and paste it in because it's on my universal clipboard. Now the way that you activate these shortcuts is you just type in a short keyword at the top. So I just have HTML temp. You can put in a description and then in the box below, you can just put in all the text or code that you want it to paste in. Now I've actually added some tags to the various snippets that I have here. So I have stuff for development or I have colors. I also have some stuff for Mac SQ. Now what that means is that I can go up to the top now and I can filter by those specific tags. So if I'm trying to find something specific or make a change to something, I can filter it from the search box at the top. I think where this app is most helpful is saving you time from repeating tasks over and over again. So for example, I always send out app inquiries to app developers asking if I can get a free copy of their app and I usually use the same template. So what I can do is just paste in this text and you'll notice that I have these three question marks here. And what that means is that whenever I paste it in, it'll prompt me to fill in some text for that specific placeholder. So let's say I'm about to email this developer. What I can do is open up Quick Key, just type in ms-rec, and you'll see that it's given me a box here to replace that placeholder. So I'm just gonna say iMovie and hit enter. And then it'll paste in that text for me. And then if you head over into the preferences, you can customize that shortcut that will open that window. So you can see I just have it set to command K right now and you can enable certain interface sounds. The one thing you wanna make sure is that this extension is running down the bottom. If it's not running, you can just click on the button that will appear here and it'll install it for you. It is free, but what that allows you to do is paste in those codes automatically and it won't just copy it to your clipboard. Now like with any app, it of course has its faults, but before I get into any of that, I just wanna remind you guys and myself that it is only a dollar right now, so I don't wanna beat up on it too much, but because its original price is $10, I wanna discuss some features that I think could be added to help this app along. So one thing I think they could clean up a bit is just the UI. It's a pretty simple UI, and I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with it or anything buggy. I just think it could look a little bit prettier. We're about to take on OS X High Sierra, and I think that app should be getting to that standard of a higher UI. And again, this is $10. If this app was just 99 cents, I would expect a UI like this, but because it's usually $10, I think the UI could be upgraded a bit. Another thing is you can only have one placeholder per snippet. So I showed you how I have one in my app inquiry template and I just have it where the app name is gonna go. But if you try and add multiple question marks, so let's say I wanted to replace the subscriber count because that count is always changing. If I put one there and I have one in the app name, it'll only ask me to fill out the first one that it sees. So you can't have multiple ones and replace those. And lastly, I would say it'd be cool to add in some smart functions. And what I mean by that is maybe adding features where you could pull in the current date and time, maybe link to a third-party application, so linking to a YouTube subscriber count or something like that. 
And also I think just overall formatting. I know I talked about the UI, but the actual formatting of the functions that you're pasting in would be really helpful if you want to style certain text, if you want to hyperlink certain links, that would be super helpful when you paste things in so it's not just plain text. And again, while those features would be super helpful, this app is only 99 cents right now, so it's really a no-brainer and I'd want to recommend checking it out because if you find yourself filling out the same text, the same colors, the same code over and over again, this app could be super helpful in saving you that time. Anyway guys, that's been it for this video. I hope that helped you and I will see you in the next one.